Are you looking to boost your customer engagement and automate your marketing like a pro? We've got you covered because in today's video, we will walk you through Web Engage, a powerful customer data and marketing automation platform that helps businesses drive conversions, retain customers, and personalize their campaigns like never before. We will cover how to collect, and manage customer data, set up automated marketing campaigns, and leverage analytics to supercharge your business. So, if you're ready to make your marketing game to the next level, hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. So, let's begin. So, first of all, you need to visit the official website, which is gonna be webengage.com. From here, you can click the dashboard. This will forward you to this section. All you have to do is sign into your account if you haven't already. Click the sign up button. All you have to do is provide all the information needed so you can start your 14 day free trial absolutely at no cost. All right. Then, after that, once you have successfully used your email to create your account, you will be forwarded here. All you have to do is just follow the on-screen instructions. Then you will be forwarded to the main dashboard where you can start exploring the platform. Now, before we explore the different sections of Web Engage, let me tell you that Web Engage is a powerful customer data and marketing automation platform that helps businesses engage users across multiple channels including email sms push notifications whatsapp in-app messages and more so the first thing that we could do or explore from this platform is the dashboard wherein this section will help you analyze your user behavior track engagement and manage customer data effectively how all i have to do Let's click the create a new dashboard here because it would provide a high level overview of key performance metrics. I'm gonna type in, say, for example, you can create a uh, tag. So let me create a tag for this specific um, here. Visibility is up to you. You can put in specific team members or view access edit access and a lot more so i'm just going to put in like just me the uh scheduling frequency is up to you you can use daily or not or you can cross that and just click the create a dashboard now once you have created your first dashboard all right once you have customized by adding widgets you can add widgets here there's going to be a plus here if you want to create another one but if you don't just go to the user section wherein you can view individual user profiles like demographics, live data, location, and engagement history. All I have to do is click the check live data and you will be forwarded to another page. It takes a little while and you would see that you can track users' journey and activity timelines in real time. You click this forward button so you would have like a preview of how to use and leverage event analytics, right? You can add another event, for example, a system event right here, if you want. You can delete if you wanted. You can delete this, you can add a specific event depending on the days. You have the faster event analytics, if you use this, if you click that, and there should be an option here to add a new event as well. Now, if you go to the analytics section after users, you can view individual user profiles with the details like paths, RFM, engagement, funnels, cohorts, and a lot more. If you click on the events right here, you'll be forwarded to the section. All right, paths. You can start showing your paths with this. And you can explore a lot of options. You have the RFM, the recency and frequency event. You can put in monetary event and show analysis and more. Now the next is going to be the funnels. 
you can create your own funnel just put in the uh funnel name click the add step and choose the correct completion time the cohorts if you have chosen your first event it's going to be a recurring event so i'm going to skip this for now we're going to the segment the segments is something that you can create for a targeted user groups all right you can create a live segment here click the new user all right so you can is it going to be for returning users last scene geo filtering and a lot more you can include reports on the on this like for example if you want to create a segment for frequent buyers or cart abandoners or inactive users you can do that by clicking the save button same with the list if you want to create a list for your campaigns you can click the uh plus button here you will be forwarded to create a list using criteria or create a list using a csv file all you have to do is upload that file here you can drag and drop but if you want to create using a criteria all you have to do is put in the name select the frequency same as the uh segment earlier all you have to do is click on save now the data platform centralizes all the data hub for managing events right here and you can you go to the integration with external tools via apis and webhooks right for example if you go to the apis you have the option to view it here and you can use all these to automate work you have the license code and you can use the api key so we're going back to the integration similarly to the webhooks right here you can click the configure And you can customize your reply email that web gauge sends with webhooks all right but it requires an upgrade before you can use this feature now one of the most important part of web engage is the campaign manager the campaign manager is a section that focuses on creating and managing marketing campaigns across multiple channels all right you can create a push sms web push email facebook google and whatsapp for example we're going to be focusing on the email campaign you can create a new email here select a campaign type is it going to be one time recurring triggered and transactional so we're going to create a one-time campaign all right so campaign name is going to be this campaign tags if you want press tab and then all I have to do, you can you need to create a live segment or your targeted audience. All right. These are gonna be the reachable user's email. And then from here, you can automate the interactions using the event-based workflows and click the save and continue. And you have already created your first campaign here in Web Engage. With that being said you would notice that you have a few more options at the bottom wherein you have the frequency capping dnd queuing and throttling and a lot more okay now the last section is i'm gonna leave the exploration into your discretion so take your time it it requires a learning curve but it's it, you you can't rush learning web engage if you go and you feel that web engage is the perfect platform for your company or your organization go to the billing section all right because after your free trial ends on march 23rd for example in my case thereafter you need to pay the 2000 or these amount for the next 12 months to continue using web engage all right and then of course all these sections of web engage is designed to help businesses understand their users create meaningful engagements and of course drive conversions through data driven marketing options all right i hope this video was helpful and again thank you so much for watching we will see you again guys in our next video